So we're here in the outhouse in Capel Street in the heart of Dublin, in my constituency actually. And we've just had a fantastic engagement with the LGBT uh, Q community. Um, we've discussed everything from healthcare provision to family formation to safety in the community, housing, you name it. Uh, and it's just been a wonderful uh, exchange of views. Finton Warfield, our Shanador was here, uh, Megan Farron, uh, MLA and former minister was here. And we've had a discussion that's been about all of Ireland and it, it's been about equality and it's about how we advance all of that. So, I mean, for my part, I feel energised by this. I feel actually, I feel a bit inspired by it. And uh, we're going to keep these conversations going because Sinn Fein is about equality. Every citizen equal in our island, which is a rainbow and a riot of of colour and diversity. So long, long may it continue, and we'll get there. We'll get there to that to that place where every citizen is equal before the law and has all of their rights and and all of their potential realised. I think that's really exciting. Be a Gielan. Um, I suppose back to basics for me, the reason that I joined Sinn Féin, uh, two reasons, Irish unity and equality, and equality is at the core of everything that we do and strive to, um, and it's so important that our citizens enjoy full equality and protections and protection of rights under the law regardless of sexual orientation, disability, gender, ethnicity, um, and we're not there yet, particularly in the North, um, we have a long way to go. So, but I do think it's important that um, our citizens are free from discrimination, particularly from the very institutions that they're elected to serve. And for too long, Stormont had been a symbol of, um, I suppose, discrimination, well, going in, histor in a historical context towards the nationalist community, and in a more modern context towards women, the LGBT community, those um, from ethnic minority communities. Um, and so, um, obviously, all of that came to a head, and I'm not going to get into the, the collapse of storm, but all of that came to a head in January last year when Martin McGuinness took the decision to collapse the institutions. Um, and if anybody hasn't read his letter of resignation, you should do it, because it, it sums it all up just in such a um, concise way and such an important way. We have just finished two hours of conversations with the LGBT community here at Outhouse, uh, at which we've launched, launched the underside document, a policy for uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer and intersex equality. It includes issues of healthcare, of gender recognition, of colour and marriage equality, uh, addressing rural isolation and um, legislating to prohibit conversion therapy. And I encourage you to read the document to critically engage uh, with Sinn Féin uh, and to get in touch with us with your issues. So we're here tonight in our house in the heart of the constituency that I'm lucky enough to represent. Um, we're here with the gay and lesbian community and we were here to launch our document that um, Senator Vinton Warfield and the likes of Angus O'Snodig and Mary Lou and all of the doll staff were very, very hard on. The general feeling in the room tonight was positive. They, uh, some people had taken the time to read the document and ask good questions in relation to it and they've given us some, some um, stuff to go back away and think about and look at different policies and stuff like that. So overall it was a very good meeting and I'm very delighted to have been in attendance.